talk about Afro Nation. You know that there were litigation issues before the event. Uh, they did affect the organizers. Mm. They also tell us that we are going to Puerto Rico. Huh? Danny and his Master Mix team deliver 100%. 100%. But you know what? It's his ears. Mm -hmm. Auditory appreciation. I cannot speak for every, everybody. And obviously, yes. Um, there may be times that they felt it was down or not, but I, I can't speak for that. But largely, from our perspective, we're super happy. Finally, yes. production. Was it, were, there, were there lapses in uh, the coordination? The time an artist would come on stage, some people said they waited so, for two hours, good. blah, blah, blah. What, See, what happened during the time? There's a show and a scheduling that we have. And I know, okay, Afronation did a few things. Even from my experience, we did a few fests. Right, some of these things actually are why we schedule them. Mm. The DJs were not, uh, the MCs were not on stage because they we like to <laughs> see for them, them to talk. Mm -hmm. No, they were scheduled to. They are plotted to an artist travel time to the venue, settling in and performance time they are supposed to cover. Also, this is not the one where seventeen people are sitting at the backstage. Uniko, 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 uniko. Next, no, it's coordinated. Um, the artists will not tell you. Not everybody wants to see the other guy when they want to perform. Really, so you come, you sit, you do your thing, you go. But it's there. Some afterwards, you know, when we do these green rooms, it's actually for the after performance when they want to burn. But before that, tell everybody again his own things they want to do before they mount the stage. Right. So the scheduling for these MCs were to actually hold it down with the customers. And then the other thing you need to know is, yes, you came for, but Afro Nation was also a party. Mm. And the, the party was the DJs and the MCs. And when you say 30 people, the DJs were the most critical part of this whole scheduling. We had about 15, 16 DJs. Wow. Across. So... In between, it wasn't just the MCs. You, they, and they kept repeating, this is DJ this, this is DJ that, this is DJ. It was just to expand the repertoire. The music they were playing, they were playing more than the artists that are on the build. You know, and people were jamming. And thanks for the, thanks yep. for the support. And I hope you guys are coming along to Puerto Rico. Oh, we are going to Puerto Rico? That's the exclusive.